VO2 max training does exist within a well-rounded muscular development, but it exists only as a small part. And in fact, as you train the muscle fibers a little bit faster than it here, and as you train the fibers a little bit slower than it here, but you train them at a higher level and they start to fatigue, they're gonna start to to recruit the, the sum of the fibers around them. You see that? And it starts to just overlap and you actually end up training at VO2 max pace anyway. Likewise, if you're running faster than VO2 max pace, but you start to accumulate volume, you're gonna fatigue up here really quick, but you're also gonna carry over and fatigue here. And look at that, you've actually filled in all of these muscle fibers. So you actually do wanna train across the board every muscle fiber type, but we don't wanna focus just on VO2 max because if you did, then what's happening is you're just training here and we're neglecting all of this development here, all of this development here, and we really don't wanna do that.